Hey everybody, GamerBoy9800 here, and today I'm bringing you another Rome Total War video, but this time it's a battle replay of an online battle I did. This was a 20k match, and I chose to play as Carthage. As you can see here, I brought six units of Sacred Band. I believe they had one experience upgrade, one or two attack upgrades, and I know I at least put silver defense on them. I think I put gold defense on them if I remember right. I'm not sure, but I also brought four units of Sacred Band Cavalry with some upgrades on them. I think I put the same upgrades that I put on the Sacred Band on my cab as well. I think silver defense, maybe bronze or silver attack. And then I brought a general's bodyguard <clears throat> and I brought one, two, three, four, five units of Balearic Slingers with gold attack and nothing else. Now my opponent over here chose to play as Germania and this setup stage takes a little while so I'm gonna triple speed it. Triple speed now I'll pause this uh, replay just to show you what he brought. <clears throat> Alright, so let me show you what he brought. Because I didn't really look at it when I watched the replay myself. I just looked at my side. He brought four units of Gothic Cavalry on this side. If I could freaking scroll faster, sorry. And he brought eight units of Gothic Cav, four on each side. I know he brought a lot of Chosen Warband Archers. One, two, three, four. Let's just count them. Four so far. Five, six, wait no. Five, six, seven, eight units of Chosen Warband Archers. So eight and eight. That's 16, so the rest is just 1, 2, 3, 4 units of Night Raiders. So, in total, he brought 8 Gothic Cavalry units. I don't think he upgraded any of these units. And I think what makes the difference in this battle later on is the quality of my troops versus his. But anyway, he has 8 Gothic Cavalry units. Four on each side, eight units of chosen warband archers, which are gonna, in theory, outmatch my Balearic Slingers in numbers and probably be able to destroy them. And then four units of Night Raiders, which you'll see what he does with them later on. They don't. I'll just tell you right now, his Night Raiders don't really come much to much use of him in the later battle. Alright, so let's get this started. So I noticed what he's brought. Now I'm double speeding the game. Oh crap. And I see he starts moving, so I move my cav up to protect my left flank and my right flank. I'm about to do the same here with this unit of cavalry. I move him up to about here and then that's when he starts moving all four of his cab units, well gothic cavalry units to my right flank. And I'm gonna warn you right now sh here shortly you guys will see that I'm gonna be too focused alright here it is. I see my he's charging his cab so I charge mine in and I bring up my general to support and I'm not paying attention to his cab charging mine on the left flank so I don't notice that until after he gets a charge off on me and I, re I reposition my guys right here and I notice my cavalry isn't doing too hot so I try to bring in I try to outflank them just a little bit but in the end this cav battle is gonna go turn out in his favor and I'm gonna lose my general so my Balearic Slingers right now are firing on his chosen warband Archer, well, chosen Archer Warband, sorry about that. And eventually, this cab fight it gets 
is grinding out and I'm eventually going to win it, but I'm not going to have too much cavalry left to spare. So, after I notice that this cab fight isn't going too well, I reposition my sacred band, the little, this sacred band unit, to kind of cover my right flank the a little bit. The has chosen cowardice and runs away! How can soldiers fight for such a creature? So he still has plenty of cav left on this side, and he takes three units of chosen archer warband to kind of see if he can shoot my flanks. And from this point out, he has cav units that are going to try to harass my Balearic Slingers and some of my sacred band units. So right here, he tries pulling his Gothic cavalry to try to hit some of these Balearic Slingers, and I notice kind of at the last second and start pulling my Balearic Slingers up over across my sacred band units and I turn this unit around to counter the uh, cab unit and it's just gonna get dominated because this cavalry if it tries to go against any of these sacred band units they're gonna get destroyed because sacred band uh, spear units are probably some of the best spear infantry well, spear units you can get in this game the only other Hoplite or Spear unit that I can think of that's better than Sacred Band just by a little bit are Spartan Hoplites. So that shows you how much and how strong Sacred Band are and they're also highly pretty resistant to a Archer the Archer Fire because of their armor and their shields. So I have this unit of Sacred Band trying to just standing here to protect the flank and eventually I I think one of these units, I for some reason, yeah, it's this one. I start chasing after these Archer War chosen Archer War Band units, which which wasn't really a smart move. And over here, I charge these cab units, and he's gonna flank around and charge me with these units as well. So I do route one of these units, but eventually I'm gonna get swarmed and lose those two sacred man cav units. At this point, he has this gothic cavalry coming in. I don't remember if I notice it coming in at all. I, oh wait, no, I don't. And he gets a charge off of one of these units. So he's gonna get a charge on one of these Blair Slinger units. And these two cavalry units are out. Over here, I keep chasing these Chosen Archer Warband units, and then this Gothic Cab routes. Now I try to come in here and move my Balearic Slingers and intercept this other Gothic Cavalry unit with the Sacred Band unit, and they also get a good flank. They're flanking this unit, so they're cutting it down pretty good, but then I immediately try to... Uh, I see it and I move this sacred band unit in to help. But this eventually this Gothic cavalry routes and I managed to uh I believe I route this Gothic Cav unit over there. So over here back on this side I wasn't paying attention to this unit and in the long run this unit ends up getting destroyed. But over here, I noticed that his general's unit is a Chosen Archer Warband unit. So I position my Chosen Archer... Well, no. I position my Balearic Slingers, sorry. To uh, start slinging the crap out of this Chosen Archer Warband unit. And the funny thing about this is, by the time this cavalry gets over here and charges this unit, and I start pulling back, the oh, there's only gonna be only one unit or well, one man left alive in this unit and I'll show you who it is in a second but over here this unit that I'm chasing well the sacred band unit that I'm using to chase this uh, these chosen archer war bands it's so gonna start getting cut down there's only one unit left well it's gonna be one unit one man left in this unit and it ends up being his general. How ironic. So I see his night raiders. Hold on. Alright, so I start I see his night raiders 
repositioning or he's starting to do something as Night Raider so I start pushing up and I still have some most of my Balearic Slingers or a good portion of them and eventually that like I said this Sacred Band gets routed by a cap unit that I didn't see because I wasn't paying attention to it and they do route one of my Balearic Slingers unfortunately so at this point I'm start. I'm my main objective from for most of this was to keep my Balearic Slingers alive as well as most of my Sacred Band because if I can keep my Balearic Slingers alive, that'll give me an advantage to maybe flank some of this cab if it gets caught up in my Sacred Band and take flank shots at it. So I'm running away here, and this Sacred Band is hitting this Gothic cab, and I notice it, and I think I start moving this Sacred Band over to help and intercept this cav. This unit of Sager Band over here is still just sitting over there. And then we do route this gothic cav and I think it might come back from routing later, I'm not sure. But I charge my Sager Band into this gothic cav unit because I don't want to uh, be charging it with in a hoplite formation and then it just runs away. I wanted to catch it and then I notice this unit of Night Raiders charging me, so I I just click an attack order to intercept it, and almost immediately after they hit my Sacred Band, they route. So this Gothic Cav over here, I think I notice it, so I start repositioning, repositioning my uh, Blaric Slingers to kind of be ready for when this Gothic Cav might try to intercept them. Then I notice over here that my sacred band is getting eaten away because they're they're being flanked while trying to take down this gothic cab which is about to route any second. So I move in this sacred band unit to uh, flank outflank the night raiders and he charges his well the night raiders into these guys. But eventually they're going to uh, start dropping like flies again since they're battling my. Uh, my sacred band and over here this is why I repositioned my guys so what ends up happening is I end up slinging them to death and they route right before they charge and route and then the only real threat are these chosen archer warband units which I think have been using plenty of ammo so they're probably most likely low as you will see later on near the end of this battle replay I also think pretty soon I yeah I see that his general's unit is just sitting there so I start to kind of charge him with this sacred band unit but he starts to run away I don't remember if I ever catch him and then I start charging this night raider unit because I want to take out his melee infantry so the only thing he has left is the chosen archer warband and. So at this point, I see I have a plan, and I start to move these Balearic Slingers up. And my he this uh, chosen archer warband, I guess, ran out of ammo, so he charges them into my sacred band unit, only to have them rout in within three seconds of charging my guys, my spears. And then I'm this is where I'm this part I am. Um, my plan is to kind of pick these units off one by one by having every single one of these Blaric Slinger units throw their slings at this unit, but then I I am careful and cautious enough to realize that he starts, he sees my Balearic Slingers open for a charge, so he starts moving his Night Raiders against my Balearic Slingers. I, I immediately almost notice this and pull them back and I will intercept these Night Raiders with this Sacred Band unit, so I managed to uh, not have my Sacred my Balearic Slingers charged, and I do move them back a little bit more. At this point, these Night Raiders are not going to stand a chance against my Sacred Band. 
and other than that one Night Raider unit, the only other units he has left in this battle to even try to hurt me with are these Chosen Archer Warband units, but I believe he eventually runs out of ammo for all of them. Because I'm assuming earlier that unit I showed you, the book that was over here, they got cab charged and destroyed that I had chasing these guys. They were probably shooting their, oh, firing their arrows at him. At that unit, pretty much. So he charges this other Chosen Archer Warband into my Sacred Band unit, and it just gets demolished. And I notice these Night Raiders over here, so I start using this unit of Sacred Band to charge this Night Raider unit, which I think. Wait, no, that's not going to be the last unit left alive in this battle that is going to rout, but um, I charge each one of these Sacred Band and I inter I managed to catch this Chosen Archer War Band before they get a charge on this unit. Would have been better either way because this the Chosen Archer War Band, like I said, was going to get demolished. So I pull this Sacred Band unit back because I want the rest of these Blair Slingers to just immediately sling the crap out of these Chosen Archer Warbands and they end up routing. And at this point the only unit he has left that hasn't routed are these Night Raiders which in a moment are going to rout. Because it says fighting defeat seems certain only a military genius could win this battle so when it comes to Night Raiders I th my advice to anyone trying to go up against cop light units like Sacred Band using units like Night Raiders is maybe charge have to try to get on the flanks because if you can get a rear charge in while they're trying to fight the unit in front that'll be good but at this point i end up winning the battle which i was shocked because as you can see from the results screen he had about i'm gonna roughly say almost 600 more units than me maybe 500 550 more units almost and I guess, like I said earlier in this video, at the beginning of the battle replay, the difference, the key difference in this battle was, even though I had less men, I had them upgraded so they could last longer and have better defense. Whereas my opponent, Simon X -Z, Z, I can't really pronounce that, just went for, I guess, I don't know if he knew about the upgrades or he just didn't have enough money to upgrade his units or if he just didn't care but he didn't upgrade I don't think at least it didn't seem like he didn't upgrade any of his units so that's what made the big difference in this battle and I was happy when I won this I was like how in the hell did I just win this but anyway as you can see the casualties inflicted my journal's bodyguard didn't do so hot. Some of the Sacred Band didn't get too many kills, but that's because I didn't put him in combat for that long. And the unit that got the most kills in this battle was actually a one of my Balearic Slingers who had 300 kills. My best Sacred Band unit that got the most kills was this one that got 273. So as you can see, quality sometimes can overcome quantity in battles in some Total War games such as Rome Total War. So that's it for now. I'll be back in another day or two with another battle replay. I got at least two more coming up. And thank you for joining me. I am GamerBoy9800 saying see ya.